Okay, in this video, what I'd like to do is show you Pixlr Express. So if you go to pixlr.com, you'll see the Pixlr Editor and Pixlr Express. And I'd like to show you how to take a PLR infographic and do some customizations to it, specifically uh, adding your own branding, adding your own, let's say, for example, URL or a logo so that you can save it and then publish that, that infographic as something that comes from your company or your brand. Now, as an example, I have a PLR infographic here. This one, let me go full screen so you can see it. This one's called Six Steps to Ultimate Motivation. And you can see with PLR infographics, we leave some space on here for you to do some customization. So Six Steps to Ultimate Motivation from, and here you could put your name. For, I could put Justin Popovich here. I could put uh, my company's name or a logo if I wanted. And then as you scroll through, you'll see there's some information here, great tips about motivation and at the bottom a little spot in here for you to again once uh, once you're done add your branding here so I might want to add tools for motivation.com just as an example this is just one of many different ways you can use a PLR infographic the, but again the key thing with PLR infographics is that they are customizable so let me show you how to customize one and I'm going to customize this exact one that I just showed you in the demo so we'll go to pixlr.com and we'll open up the express web app you can do this from any browser that you want. And what I'm going to do is take the uh, that exact infographic that I just showed you. Now, this one happens to come in PNG format. Sometimes infographics will come in P, uh, PNG or JPEG or in sometimes even PSD. I would recommend using JPEG or PNG. So let's browse and find uh, that one that I was just showing you. Okay, so here's that infographic I was just showing you. Uh, we can zoom in a little bit here just so you can see it a bit better. Uh, actually, I'll zoom out so you can get the whole thing. Now, what I want to do is a couple of quick things. For one, you have the, all these different features at the bottom in Pixlr Express. So, for example, I could click Adjustment and literally make some adjustments here. Like an obvious one would be color, right? You can quickly uh, change the color of scheme of this that we've included for you. So it, you, you'll see the natural color scheme we've built here is orange with a kind of a grayish background. If I change it, now we've got blue. Uh, that's just using the hue uh, settings here from Pixlr. You could go the other direction. Uh, you can see it kind of translates to green there. I don't really have to know a whole lot about design, but I've got a different colored infographic here. So for, for fun, we can go down here and make it blue. Uh, and then I'll turn off the color settings because what I really wanted to show you, we'll apply that color. It's probably not the, <laughs> the greatest final color in the world considering how blue that is, but it's okay. We'll just roll with this. Um, the, what, the main thing I wanted to show you here was adding some text. So let's actually add, uh, we'll keep it, uh, we'll use this sans text here. And we'll put our website, tools for, and I put spaces between each line so that it kind of goes down here. If I learn how to type motivation. So there we have it uh, in this box here. And I'm going to want to move that a little bit. Uh, I probably want to shrink this in size. Uh, I'm going to go down and so, oh, you can go down size just by dragging. Let's actually put four motivation all on one line so it fits there. And yeah, actually, let's do it all on one line here. So you can see you kind of have to fiddle think with things as you go along. And I can make it a little bit larger now, of course, just by doing that. So this comes from Tools for Motivation. We'll apply that. Then I also want to add, uh, I'll use the same font. I also want to add tools for motivation.com in that open spot at the bottom. If you remember, uh, PLR, PLR infographics give you the ability to do that. So we'll drag that right down here. Got to go into full screen mode here to be able to see it. And we're going to need to make it a little smaller so that it fits into that section. Almost there. Okay, so these are very basic changes. Obviously, uh, I don't even know Pixlr Express all that well. I'm, I, I've learned it for this demo. I've done it a few times, but you can see how quickly you can pick something like this up. I can apply that change as well. Uh, and then we can pretty much exit full screen mode. And we've got a branded infographic. We changed the colors and we added our branding to two different sections of that infographic. So let's just save it. Click Save. We'll call it Infographic Final. I'll pick the highest quality level here. And we'll save it to my hard drive. 
And then let me quickly go over to my um, to my hard drive and open it for you. Okay, so here it is. Let me just go into full screen mode so you can see the, the branded one we built. So there it is. Six steps to ultimate motivation from tools for motivation. I probably would want to go back and maybe bold this so it stands out a little bit more. Or maybe use a dark color like a gray. And same thing with that at the bottom. This is this infographic has been brought to you by tools for motivation. Very quick and dirty example here. Probably not my favorite look and feel to this. I don't know if I'd publish this infographic, to be honest with you, but that's not the point. The point was to show you how quickly a tool like Pixel or Express can help you take an infographic that's customizable because it's PLR and add your own flavor to it, add your own branding so that when you do publish it, it actually gives some benefit to your business. It actually markets your company or your name. And you can very easily do this with Pixel or Express, but there's some other software uh, design apps as well that you could do this with. For example, Photoshop. If you want to do it quickly, I would suggest this tool. If you have a designer on your team, they would probably have their own suggestions. But that's pretty much it. If you want to customize an infographic, give this a shot.